Hey guys, long time no see, but you know what, I'm back. Um, I just took some time off just because I felt like it. Um, I, when nothing was wrong, I wasn't like, I mean I was busy, but I wasn't like crazy busy. I just decided just to take a little break from YouTube, but I'm back at it now and I'm excited to bring you this video. Um, really quickly, I have a second channel now that I am doing some vlogging on. I'm not going to vlog every day, I'm just going to do some random vlogs here and there. Um, but I will le link that in the description box below along with all my other links that I usually post. Um, but it's um, TKC Vlogs, so that's the name of the channel, so if you want to go look for that. Um, and I just posted a vlog a couple hours ago actually. So um, go subscribe to my second channel if you'd like to see more of like my, my everyday life and all that fun jazz so I don't know how interesting I am but we'll give it a try anyway okay so this is gonna be my current loves video because I don't do like monthly favorites because I don't film one every month so I just kind of do current loves when I feel like doing it um so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it I'm gonna get um, food item out of the way. I have one food item. Um, I just found these a couple weeks ago at my local grocery store. And it's the Thin and Crispy ones. This is a brand new bag. I haven't opened it because I just bought it last night. But, um, it's by Tostitos. And they are the same thickness and consistency of chilies. If you've ever gone to, you know, Chili's, the restaurant chain, and order their chips and salsa. Their chips are so thin and crispy and yummy. Mm, they're just awesome. And so I love these because I love doing like chips and salsa as a snack because then it's a semi healthier because <laughs> you're only getting calories from the chips. But anyway, so that's my first one. Getting that one out of the way. We're going to move on. Um, let's see. Other non beauty items I have. Um, there is a new song that I've been totally grooving to and working out to and all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead, for copyright reasons, I'm only going to play like a few moments of the song because other than that, they'll, they'll, YouTube will snag me for copyright. But let me pull it up really quick. It's a... Uh, It's a uh, <laughs> scream and shout by Will I Am um, featuring Britney Spears. If you haven't seen the music video, it's amazing. I mean, and the song is so much fun. Even you know, um, having a good time working out to that or just listening to that in my car. So if you haven't checked that song out, check that one out. Um, still loving Instagram. And then, um, if you guys don't know, you can find me on Instagram. It's um, just T Beauty Box, which is my um, Facebook and YouTube and Twitter handle. But this is my Daddy. Instagram. So give that a go. Come find me on Instagram. Love an Instagram. Okay. Still. Next up, I have. I'm still loving. Um, impressed nails. These are some new ones I'm trying out. Um, <laughs> they're a little bit longer. You can probably tell they're a little bit longer than their normal ones. I found these at Walgreens. I love love the print. There might be you can see how long they're. Li they might be a little long. So I've only had them on for like ten minutes right now. So. I'll let you know if I like these. I, I still love impressed nails and I'm still buying them like crazy. And I have a video on impressed nails and how to put them on and all that stuff. So if you want to check that out, um, it's somewhere on my playlist. Um, but still loving impressed nails. They work well for me. I know some people don't like them, but I can usually get them to last about five days, sometimes a whole week. Um, but yeah, I love them and they work really well for me. It's probably because I have like really crappy nails to begin with, but... So loving that. Um, hair products. First one I have is Bedhead um, Rockaholic Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. This is like the best dry shampoo in my opinion. Um, but I don't I don't use dry shampoos very often. But um, 
when I do, I always reach for this one and I always buy this one because it just works really well. I like the scent. Um, it's not chalky and I can usually, you know, I usually, you know, section off my hair and then spray it and then I usually rub it in really well because I have darker hair. But it doesn't leave a horrible white residue like a lot of um, dry shampoos can't. So I really, really like that. The other one is Matrix Exquisite Oil with Moringa Oil Blend Replenishing Treatment. This I'm putting in my hair wet. I'm using it on myself. I'm using it on my daughters. I'm using it on my clients. And then every once in a while I'll put a couple pumps, rub it in my hands really well, and then rub it through the rest of my hair if I'm feeling a little frizzy or dry. Um, next product is the Root Pump Plus by Big Sexy. It looks like this has this little like nozzle thingy on the end that you can use when you section off your hair you spray it a little bit of this goes a long way um when i first tried it i used too much and i had to wash my hair after a day or two but now i figured out how just to use just the right amount and then it's fine it's great it works really well it's humidity resistant but it gives you just enough lift like I don't feel like I've got too much going on and I have a lot of hair and it's really thick so it has time I can it can weigh down a little bit on because it's so thick and heavy but I feel like I'm getting a good lift just right at the roots so I just sprayed on the roots and a little bit around but I really like it so happy with that um, next let's see I'm gonna do we're gonna move on to makeup. I have some fun. I've been using some um, face stuff that I really like. I bought the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder in the color Milk Chocolate. Now this is different from the regular chocolate one. It's lighter. It's still matte. It still has that glorious chocolate smell, but it's lighter because clearly I don't have a tan anymore as we're into the winter months. So it still has a mirror. So I've switched to the milk chocolate one. It works really well. Um, as a bronzer, I use it to contour. Um, I'll even you put it in the crease of my eyelids sometimes. It's just perfect. And it is definitely lighter than the normal Too Faced chocolate one. So loving this bronzer. And then the I have it on. <laughs> I do have it on, so in case you're wondering. Yes, I do have it on. Um, the next is a MAC blusher. Bought this one about a month ago, and I have worn it every day. I swear, I can't even think of a day that I haven't worn it. It's a mineralized blush in the color Love Thing. And it looks like that. Now, it looks scarier than it really is, as do most blushes. I do have it on, and I have it on a little bit heavier because um, I have such a dark lip on today. But there's a nice swatch for you. It's really perfect for like a winter month. And again, that looks scarier than it is. I do have it on, so you just have to blend it in nicely. But it's got a really pretty sheen to it. And I feel like I look almost kind of flushed, if that makes sense. Um, flushed in a good way, like wintry flush. Like I've been outside in the cold and it brought a really pretty flush to my cheeks. So really, really loving that blush. Again, that's MAC Love Thing Mineralized Blush. Okay, next we'll move on to eyes. Um, I just I just pulled the things that I've been wearing the most often lately. And I have been wearing the MAC Electric Cool Eyeshadows. And I pulled the four colors that I've been wearing the most. Um, this one is called Love Power, and it's a pink. Next one is Super Watt. Is this the one I have on? Yes, this is the one I have on my eyes now. I don't know if you can see it. I just really blended it across. It's pretty much the only shadow I have on. I have a highlight under my brow, but it's the color, the only color I have on my lids. I just used my finger and blended it all over and up into the crease. Loving that. Um, the other color is Pure Flash. Like that one too. And then the other one is Black Lit. And this one I've been wearing as more of a liner rather than a shadow. So 
it's got a little bit of glitter in it so that's fine I'll take a 266 and use it to line my light eyes with if I just want a little bit of definition um, and the other eye products I've been wearing a lot are the uh, Makeup Geek gel liners and I bought four of them back in September and I wish I would have bought more I need to go back and buy the rest of them but some of the ones that I want are not in stock right now so I'm gonna wait till they come in stock and then I'll make another purchase but I have this is the color mobster and it is a dark dark brown they're really great they really compare to um, the Bobbi Brown gel liners they compare completely to that this is immortal and this is the black and this is the blackest black gel liner I've ever used and they're reasonably priced and they have really really longevity um, I do they I have put it on my waterline um, ir my water lines are so picky so they irritate my water lines just slightly but I know other people that have used them on their water lines and they haven't had a problem this is kind of like a I don't know if it's not really gunmetal but the color is called rave I can't even tell you what color. I'm not going to swatch them because they're such a pain in the ass to get off your off your skin. So, I don't know how to describe It's like, a, it's not even taupey. It's kind of silver. We'll go with like, it's a taupey silver. That one's we'll go. We'll go with a taupey silver. Um, and the other one I bought is Treasure. And it's gold. And this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I have worn it as a liner, but usually I'll line the inner and stop and then take it like the mobster or the uh, black one the immortal and go the rest of the way um, or you can use it as a base if you want to put like some glitter or a gold eyeshadow down so that's them okay last but not least I had to like pull them all over on my desk um, last but not least lip products and I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven eleven 11 lip products to show you. Um, I am not going to swatch a lot of these. I'll swatch some of them. So let me roll my sleeves up a little bit. Because I do plan on doing a video that's like a guide to like lipsticks in the winter, like vampy shades and all that. Um, all of these lipsticks, save one, lips, lip products, excuse me, are vampier shades. Um, we're going to start with the one I have on. The one I have on I bought a week ago and I have worn it every day since I bought it. It is the YSL Glossy Stain in the number one. And it looks super, super dark. But I do have it on. Let me, let me see if I can get it to zoom in. Love it. And so it comes off kind of red on me, but I... I don't know, I think these ones kind of go differently on other people, but that's what it looks like swatched. So I love this, and it leaves, because you know, it's the glossy stain, it leaves an actual really pretty stain on your lips too, so that's probably my, probably the main reason why I've been wearing it so often. So hopefully I'll film my lip video either probably not today probably get to it tomorrow or Sunday um, so loving that one um, the other one I really really love I bought a couple months ago is candy apple lip gloss from lime crime they have cute packaging this is like the glitteriest lip gloss ever but it's so pigmented and so opaque that it shows up like a lipstick um, but it is definitely glittery, but it's very, very pretty. So I love that one. Um, let me group. Let's get to the uh, those ones next. The other ones, I've got four MAC lipsticks that I've been wearing a lot lately. We'll just start with the first one, and this one is everyone is talking about this one because it is the color. This is Rebel by MAC. And it actually looks a lot like my YSL. It's a little, maybe it's a little bit lighter, but I'll swatch this one for you. So that's Rebel. This is gorgeous on, and it's funny to me how you can kind of see. Um, I think because I have such fair skin, it tends to go a little bit red on me, but 
I love it. I wear that one quite a bit as well. So that one. The other one is Girl About Town. This is my favorite, um, favorite pink lipstick. It's very, very pink. It's very, very pink. Love it. So um, this one's MAC Red is my favorite MAC lipstick. You can kind of tell because I wear it quite a bit. Um, your typical blue based red. So I like that one a lot. And the last one I wear all the time, and I I don't even know if I can get it in it was limited edition. It's Venus. And this one is just this is my nude color, I guess you could say. It's not a nude, clearly. I don't like nudes on me. You can see it. It's this one. I like I need because I'm so pale skinned, I need the extra like um, little bit of color on because otherwise I just look sickly or yeah I need color on my lips I can't wear like the skin tone nude I can't do it but so that's my MAC lipsticks I've been wearing next I'm obsessed with are the Revlon what are these things called Revlon just bitten kissable balm stain okay Let's talk about these ones for a minute because everyone compares them to the Clinique Chubby Sticks and I've not tried the Clinique Chubby Sticks, but I love these ones and they come in so many colors and they're like using a crayon and I've recommended these to so many friends and clients and other people and everyone is loving them as well. I have one, two, three, four, five colors. I have a couple more, but they're um, more summery colors, so I put them away. But this one is in romantic, and it's your red color. This is a, this one's a little more red based, but that's this one. They smell um, really good, and they actually are conditioning for your lips too. Let's get the other red one too. This is the darker red one, and this one's called Adore. We'll put that one. Adore. You can see it's darker than the first red one. Um, this one is kind of your typical hot pink lovesick. I've used this one I used a lot in the summer, but I thought I could still get away with it for winter, so I put it in my purse. That one. Um, next, I really love this one is Crush. This one's more, this one kind of reminds me of Rebel and that um, YSL glossy stain I showed you guys. So I like that one a lot too. And the last is called Smitten, and this one's definitely very berry. So Smitten's up there on the top right there. So those are the ones that I have right now for the balm stains. And they actually do stain your lips a little bit. Um, they're really comfortable to wear, and they're so easy, especially if you're kind of shy about, like, um, bright or dark lip colors um, this is a good introduction to them and I don't think you can really go wrong with that so there you have it that is my current loves right now um, if you have any questions please let me know um, make sure again that you subscribe to my second vlogging channel and find me on Facebook and Twitter and all that fun stuff um, all that good stuff. Please um, let me know if you have any requests for videos. I am going to start, I'm back, I'm going to start making um, beauty videos on a more regular basis. I probably will take um, time off again though, however, around Christmas. My kids will be out of school, like, you know, all kids are out of school for about two weeks around Christmas time. So I probably won't make too many videos, if any at all, during that time that my kids are home and it's Christmas and New Year's and you're just kind of running through there so but I will do my best to get some more videos out and at least a tutorial or two um but yeah there you have it thanks so much you guys for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers and I will see you guys next time thanks guys love you bye